Hello everyone, welcome to Vab Fashion's YouTube channel. My name is Eunice. Thank you for stopping here. If this is your first time here, please kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe and also put on your notification bell so that you get notified once I post a new video. Thank you. So in today's video, we're going to be learning how to make a 1440 degrees per plum. So this is what we are trying to make. The 1440 degrees per plum. So first, these are the measurements you need to achieve a 1440 degrees per plum. You need your waist circumference or wherever you are attaching the per plum to. So here I'm attaching it to my waistline and my waist circumference is 35 inches. So here's my 35 inches. So now you want to get the radius of your per plum. So first, we have 1,440 degrees. And of course, we know that we don't have a circle that is up to 1,440 degrees. So it means that the circumference of our circle is always 360 degrees. So what does this mean? That we have four 360s in this 1,440 degrees per plum. So this is it. Our circumference, the circumference of a circle, our degrees of the circle is 360. 360 degrees. So this is for one peplum. So here we have 440. So it means that we need four circles to be able to achieve our 1,440 degrees peplum. So remember that the waist circumference where we are attaching this peplum is 35 inches. So at the end of the day, we want to have four circles that will still give us the same 35 inches. So this is what we are going to do now. We'll go ahead and divide this 35 by 4. So you say 35 divided by 4, and that will give us 8 and 3 quarter. 8 inches and 3 quarter. So that's 8 inches and 3 quarter. So 8.75. So here is our 8.75. So which is going to be the circumference of each of the circles. Of each of the circles. Remember that we're making four circles. So this is one, this is two, and then this is three and four. So each of the circumferences of the circles will be working with 8.75. So now this is what we'll do. We have a formula to achieve the radius of our circle. We already have... 8.75 as a circumference of each of the circles and we're making four so we'll say c which is the circumference equal to 2 pi r this is used to achieve a 360 degree circle okay then we have c and c is 8.75 so we're going to say 8.75 equal to 2 here and then we have Pi. Pi is a constant, which is 3.14. So you can see 2 is here already because it is also a constant for a 360 circle. 2 times 3.14. Okay? And then R. So you can see when we multiply 2 times 3.14, that will give us 6.28. Can you see? So, and we're still looking for R here. And you can see that we have 8.75. So now to get the radius of our circle, we're going to use this 6.28 to divide 8.75. Of course, 6.28 divided by 6.28 to cancel this 6.28. So we'll bring it here. So this will be 6.28 here. Okay, so let's go ahead and divide it so that we can get our R. So here now we'll say 8.75. 0.75 divided by 6.28. So you can see that we have 1.39. Automatically, we'll just approximate that to 1.4. So this is our 1.4. So the radius of a circle that is going to be 8.75 is 1.4. So we have 1.4. So, which is our R, R equals to 1.4. So, that is it. So, now you're going to determine the length of the peplum that you want to make. 
the length of this peplum i want the length of this peplum to be 8.5 inches so now we have our 1.4 as our radius so next you put into consideration what the length of the peplum you want to make will be and here the length of the peplum is going to be 8.5 so now i'll say 1.4 plus 8.5 so that will give me 9.9 .9. so 9.9 .9, i'll go ahead and add one inch i need half inch for turning the peplum at the down part and half inch for joining it to the upper bodies so that will be plus one inch so that will give me 10.9 so which is approximately 11 inches so the length i'm looking for is going to be 11 inches and that 11 inches will be times two because I'm going to be folding it to have a perfect square. So 11 times 2, automatically that means I have 22 inches. So I'm going to be looking for a square of 22 inches. So I'll show us the next thing to do. So as you can see, I've cut out my lining and I have 22 inches in length. So here's my 22 inches. And then you can see I also have 22 inches in width. So this is a perfect square, okay? So I'm going to go ahead now and fold it into two. And you see that I have 22 inches this way, I have 22 inches this way. So when I fold it into two, I'll have my 11 inches. And then when I fold into four, I will still have my 11 inches this way. So now having folded it into four now, from this part where all the four points meet, which is the apex here, I'm going to go ahead and mark the 1.4, which is our radius. So here on my tape, this is one, one inch, this is 1.5. So here is going to be my 1.4, okay? So I'm going to be marking at this point, 1.4. So from the apex here, I'm placing my tape and I'm marking at 1.4. So you want to make sure that it doesn't shift from this point. So can you see? So this is what we have. This is the radius of my circle. So now from this point, I'll go ahead and enter the length of the flare. So remember that we're looking for 9.5. That's 8.5 inches is the length of the peplum, then plus my one inch for my allowances. So this is where my 9.5 is at this point. So I'll mark the same 9.5 here. So you can bring it here, mark it. 9.5. 9.5. Make sure that it doesn't shift from this part. 9.5. So here is our 9.5. So here is my 9.5. So can you see? So we'll go ahead and cut out from the length place area so once i've done that now i'll go ahead and cut the radius so can you see so this is what i have here so i'm going to slash it into two like this yes i picked one side you can see that it was folded this way so I picked one of this side and opened it up. So you see that this is one of our circles. Of course, you can see that this cannot go around anybody's waist. So I need extra three pieces of this. So exactly what I've done here, I will cut out three more pieces to achieve our 1,440 degrees peplum. So I'll cut three more and then show us the next thing to do. So I've cut my extra three pieces. Can you see? I have four of them and I slash them on each of the sides. I did the same thing for this. So now this is what we're going to do to get our circumference, the round circumference of that 35 inches. Now we'll go ahead and stitch these parts together. Each of the open sides. Can you see? So I've joined two together 
Can you see that I have this part now? Pick one here too, and then join it to this side. Can you see that? So I have three together, and then I'll pick this one also. And then join them together so you can see that i've joined i pinned all four of them together and this is what i have so you can see that this part is open this part is open this will now serve as the center back where the zip allowance will be and this will also serve as the center front okay let me go ahead and sew them first together i'll repeat the same thing for my fabric i have four pieces also then we'll, i'll show the next thing to do i've joined my linings together i see all four of them and this is what i have this is what i have here so now once we take our measurement by joining all three of all four of them together i'm going to have my waist measurement which is 35 inches plus my zip allowance with this method you don't need to add zip allowance to your figure when dividing it will automatically bring out your zip allowance by itself so i've also gone ahead to to join my lining uh, my fabric together that's my entire fabric together so now it's time for us to fix our cranial line you can see that this is already wavy but this is this cranial line is just to still give it structure and see that the cones are closer this is because we have several circles we have four circles so you can see how it is standing this is lining and it's just standing on its own on the table so now to fix our cranial line i'll be using my one inch cranial line we have different sizes so but this peplum is already very full so there's no need for you to use the big one so me now i'm using a one inch cranial line so this is what i'm going to do now going to be sewing the cranial line this is the wrong side of my line in this part that have my that has my stitches so i'm going to place my cranial line on this side on this side i'm going to stitch it but before stitching it i'm going to use bias to cover this side i'm going to use bias to cover this side you can see that this is plastic so that it doesn't poke the skin so and then i'll go ahead and stitch my cranial line half inch away from the bottom here that's half inch away from the hem of my flare can you see so i'm going to do that so i'm just going to make sure that i'm sewing it half inch away from the hem all the way to the other end from this side all the way to the other end and then i'll show us what we have i'm sewing it to this side so i'm going to flip it over like this and use it to cover it up. So I'll just trim it on like this. So after covering it up, I'm going to sew it on the hem. I'll leave this part, I'll shift in by half inch and then I'll sew it from the hem here on half inch. So, as you can see, I've sewn my cranial line to the hem of my flare. So, so the next thing I'll be doing is to place my lining, right side of the lining facing the right side of the fabric, and I'll be sewing on the half inch I left at the hem of the lining. So I'll sew on that half inch all the way to the other side and then I'll show us what we have. So after sticking the hem of our lining and our Ankara fabric together, can you see? I also went ahead to stitch the sides together and I gave it a very nice press. You can see, this is what uh, 1,440 degrees peplum looks like. Can you see the, the amount of cones we have? It's really full and it's coming out really beautiful. 
so this is what it looks like on the table you can see how i form the circle and everything is coming out well so you can imagine what it will look like on the person if you enjoyed watching this video please like share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching bye